Hi there, let's take a look at a welfare concept heavily used in multiple choice questions at A-level and one you'll want to bring into your essays when analysing and evaluating, for example, the effects of government intervention in markets. The concept is producer surplus. So what is producer surplus? Well, producer surplus is essentially the difference between two price levels. It's the difference between the price that producers, suppliers are willing and able to supply a good or service for and the price they actually get in the market. How do we show the amount of producer surplus? It is shown by the area above the firm's supply curve and below the prevailing or the current market price. Higher prices for, uh, for businesses are an incentive to supply more to the market. We call this the profit motive. Producers driven by the potential, by the opportunity of increasing their producer surplus. So in our diagram on the right-hand side here, if the market price increases from A, and A is the minimum price that the firms will supply at, if the price increases from A to B, then the producer will be willing to supply a quantity Q1. The price they get is B, the area of producer surplus, is the area above the supply curve and below the market price, which equals area A, B, C. Now, clearly, markets can change. Let's take a look at some examples of what this does to producer surplus. So the level of producer surplus can change as the market price for a product changes. Let's take a look at two examples. The first one is an outward shift of supply caused by a fall in the costs of production. So the demand curve is D1 and the supply curve is going to shift from S1 to S2. A fall in supply cost causes the market price to fall from A to F and the equilibrium quantity to increase from Q1 to Q2. Now, the original price, <clears throat> the price was A, producer surplus was the area above the supply curve below the price, equals A, D, B. A, D, B. Following the fall in supply costs, the price comes down to F. So producers are now getting a lower price, but their supply costs have also fallen. And the area above the supply curve, S2, is now shown, uh, and below the price, is now shown by the area F, E, C. And hopefully you can show that there's been an increase in producer surplus because of a fall in the costs of supply. Keep in mind, of course, that uh, consumers would also be better off their consumer surplus would also go up. Let's take a second example. This time we focus on the effect of a shift in demand. And in our diagram on the right hand side, there's been an outward shift of the demand curve from D1 to D2. Now this increase in market demand causes a higher price. We go from price A to price D and an expansion of quantity from Q1 to Q2. But what happens to produce a surplus. Keep in mind, producer surplus is the area above the supply curve, but below the price. Well, at the original price A and quantity Q1, producer surplus is A, B, C. But now, at the higher quantity, and the producer, of course, is getting a higher price, getting price D, the new producer surplus is D, E, C. So you can show here, hopefully quite clearly, that an outward shift of demand increases producer surplus. Indeed, the increase is shown by the area D, E, B, A. An outward shift of demand is good news for producers. They can sell more at a better price. So there we go. You'll be using producer surplus in lots of essays, I think, in A-level economics and lots of multiple choice questions. Expect to see producer surplus making an appearance. Hopefully this short video has helped cement your understanding.